In this Unity Beginner tutorial, we're going to create a script that's going to allow us to aim with our mouse cursor. If you want to get this character and this arena, you can go to the previous tutorials and learn how to make the movement script for it and also how to get all of this for free. So first of all, we're going to go over here and click on this uh, arrow over here and expand this and we're going to go under the egg object over here and we're going to create a new script. We're going to click add component and we're going to name it aiming like this and create an add. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to add some variables. So first of all, we're going to add the target. So the target in this case is going to be the mouse. So we're going to type private vector free and uh, mouse. So this is going to be the name of the vector free and we're going to set the position of the mouse uh, to the vector free. Now we're going to go over here and we're also going to add a float. This is going to be used to change the rotation of the character. So we're going to name it rotation speed and we're going to set it to free by default. And we also need a quaternion. So we're going to type private quaternion and look rotation. In this we're going to be saving the rotation of the character so which way we need to rotate it and we also need to add another vector free so a vector free and we're going to name it direction target like this and we also need to add the main camera all right so in the start function that only runs once when you start up the game we're going to automatically link the main camera to the script so to do this we're going to go over here and first of all we're going to check if the main camera is not yet linked to the script so if main camera is new this means that it's not linked to the script yet then if it's not we're gonna run the code inside of these brackets and we're gonna link it to the script so we're gonna type main camera equals ca camera dot main like this and this is automatically gonna link the main camera to the script if we save right now and, and if we go back to unity and if you press play as you can see over here it's, it says none so it's not linked and as you can see as soon as you press play the main camera is automatically linked to the script so this is this camera over here okay now let's press pause and let's go back to the script now we're gonna go into the update function so the update function is called once per frame this means that every frame the update function is gonna run which means basically that it's looping all the time and in this tutorial we're gonna create another function so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna type public void aiming like this and we're gonna add this bracket this is just so if you have a lot of code in the update function it looks a little bit better you can just run the aiming function like this and add this at the end and this at the end so whenever the update function runs this it's gonna run all the code inside of here all right so let's go over here now over here we're gonna type the actual code for the aiming so first of all we're gonna add the, the ray and we're gonna make it ray and we're gonna set the ray to the mouse so to do this we're gonna type main camera dot screen point to ray and in brackets we're gonna type input dot mouse position so now wherever the mouse is, it's going to shoot a raycast. So, so how does the raycast hit actually work? So when you have the mouse button over here, your, your mouse button is actually moving on the camera that's over here. So if you have the mouse button, exam for example, over the stone, just imagine if you would point a laser from over here to over here and wherever the laser is hitting, you can get this location. After that, you can save this location into a vector free, calculate how to actually rotate the character towards this position and then actually smoothly rotate the character towards the position. Now we also have to save the hit. So to save the hit, we're going to type raycast and we're going to name it hit. And now we have to type a if statement. In the if statement, we're going to check if the raycast actually hit something. The raycast actually needs a collider to collide with. So for example, if the mouse button is over here, uh, it's going to hit the arena uh, collider that's over here. So wherever this is going to hit, we can get the position of it. So we're going to go over here. And first of all, we're going to check if the raycast actually hit an object. So we're going to type physics dot raycast and in these brackets type ray and out hit like this okay so if the object actually hit something we can get the position where the object has been hit so over here we're gonna type mouse equals hit dot point so wherever the raycast actually hit something we're gonna save this position into this vector free so this is where the mouse is located in the game direction target equals mouse minus so this is the position that the rake has hit that we saved over here and if we use transform dot position this is the position that this script is attached to so in this case this is this position all right and we also have to normalize it like this and in the next line of code uh, we're going to create a, a rotation towards the target so to do this we're going to type look rotation equals quaternion dot look rotation and we're going to use direction target 
So this is going to create a rotation towards the target. And now to smoothly rotate the object towards the target, which in this case is, is our mouse cursor, we're going to type transform.rotation uh, equals quaternion dot slurp. And first of all, we have to type the current rotation of the object that this script is linked to. So we're going to type transform dot rotation. And now we have to type the final rotation towards the mouse button. So we're going to type loc rotation. And to smoothly rotate it, we're going to use time dot delta time. And we're going to multiply this by rotation speed. So we can actually rotate it faster or slower, depending on how we change the rotation speed over here. Now let's save this and go back to Unity. And as you can see over here, we can change the rotation speed. We're going to set this to 8 right now and we're going to click play. All right, so as you can see, the player is rotating towards our mouse button, but we have a problem. We have to freeze the rotation on the X axis and on the Z axis because as you can see, uh, yeah, this is not going to be fine. So we're going to stop the game and we're going to go back to our script. Now let's scroll down and to freeze our rotation, we're going to go over here and we're going to type transform dot dot older angles so over here we're gonna type equals new vector free and we're gonna set the x axis to zero and we're gonna ignore the y axis so the character actually rotates towards the mouse button so we're gonna type transform dot older angles dot y and we're also gonna freeze the the z axis like this and by saving it and going back to unity and if you press play as you can see now it's working if you put this closer it's no longer rotating in the x-axis or the z-axis right so now we also have to add the script to our cannons so to do this we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna expand this and we're gonna look for our weapons so to do this just go over here as you can see this is our weapon and we're just gonna drag and drop this over here and also we're gonna go over here and drag and drop this over here we also have to change the rotation speed to 8 and let's just change this to 8 over here and now let's press play and as you can see this is working now we can actually aim with our character and the cannons are also moving if the mouse button is over here as you can see it's aiming actually at the mouse button but if you put it closer as you can see it's moving closer to the mouse all right so this can be our aiming script thank you so much for watching leave a like in this video in the next tutorial we're going to create a shooting script so please subscribe to the channel and support the channel on patreon thank you to all the patreon supporters that made this video possible